Hello people, and today I'm doing yet another video of Bugs Nights, the legendary game. So let's continue the game. Load, I'm always already a minute in and it's not loading. Here. Oh, there's a balloon? Huh. You know, it, it looks just a little bit um, exploded, but I'm sure we can patch that up eventually. I wondered where that went. Oh, it's yours? Well, you travel in style, buddy. <laughs> well, if you don't mind, I'd love to fly it someday. Hey, how's it going? Have time for an interview? An interview? Alright, but keep it short. I got work to do. Start interview. <laughs> Who are you? Wambus Troubleham, farmer. Why well, come to Snack Tooth Island? To start a farm? Can't you start a farm back, back home? Like I can afford that. Seems like you never had to pay property taxes. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, uh, what do I think about bug snacks? They're pesky, tasty, and confusing. What's so confusing about bug snacks? Well, they ain't animals, and they ain't plants. No organs, no seeds, nothing. And you have to eat them raw, or they turn to mush. Now I call that confusing. Why did you leave town? Well, when Lisbert vanished, I knew we needed a reliable food source. Without snacks, I figured I'd farm sauce as an alternative. Though we would have been fine on bug snacks if it weren't for Gramble. What's your problem with Gramble? That weepy little rancher thinks all bug snacks are his pets. Philbo said you had have a wife. Where is she? Philbo needs to shut his grumpin' mouth. Trisany is off somewhere poking at skeletons. None of my dang business. What happened with Trippany? <sighs> well, when you've been married this long, the little spats just pile up. It doesn't take much to knock them all down. Any info on this book? Uh, respectable type of this work. We'd trade sauce for snacks now and again. Or plants for Dr. Batternugget to fix his medicine. Who is Dr. Bat Batternugget? Oh, that's the town doctor. You know, Eggabel. Liz's partner. What happened to Lisbeth? I couldn't say. She was off hunting most of the time. Dangerous work. Could have slipped and fell. Could have got caught in an earthquake. Could have got thrown in a volcano. Thanks. That's all. Thanks for taking the time. 
seems like a waste of your time. If you want answers, you need hard evidence. Here, I dug this up the other day. I'm thinking it might help you find Elizabeth. Now, back to work. Okay, so where is Samurai Springs? Samurai! again. A surprising discovery. You. You are the ignoble journalist. Despite your lack of any and all useful skills, I require your assistance. As is extracting feces from the latrine. Now, my experiments were halted with the unfortunate disappearance of Egabel. Since the settlement's dissolution, finding new subjects has been vexing. A bit of gastronomic biochemistry. Never mind the details. Silence yourself and listen. You've likely witnessed grumpus limbs transforming into bug snacks. I call this process snackification. Under normal circumstances, this occurs at random. However, I have developed a method to direct the effect to specific limbs. It's simple once you understand the internal mechanisms behind the molecular dissemination of snack particles. <sighs> this is the snack activator. Feed me strabi. Poke snack activator in foot. Foot turns into strabi. Understand? <laughs> Unbelievable. Very good. I will allow you to field test the snack activator for the time being. I, meanwhile, have some very interesting plans for my leg. I look forward to working with you further. Song's nice and all, but you're scaring the little ones. Oh, sorry, Gramble. Inspiration is so hard to find. I just have to sing wherever it strikes me. Well, uh, maybe it could strike you over there. Oh, but I'd hate to go alone. Won't you join me for a long walk on the beach? Like. A date? Of course, darling. It would just be you, me, and your delectable strabbies. 
singing the night away until we drift off to sleep. No! Uh, sorry. Every time I go to sleep around you, my snacks just up and vanish. So no to all that. But the date's still a maybe. Uh, very well. I will go and seek my inspiration. Hello! Ta, my dear. Oh, calm down, little ones. Wiggle means well. She just don't understand you like I do. Who are you? I haven't seen you around here before. If you're looking for bug snacks, you best turn back. These little ones are my kin. Calm down, I don't want your snacks. Well, that's a relief. Sorry to be short with you. I haven't slept much lately. I'm Gramble Giggle Funny. I'm an aspiring bug snacks breeder. Who told me to come see you? I'm not too keen on going to town, but I'm running out of room down here. I want to get back to my barn. Trouble is, some of my snacks went missing. I'm not going back till they're all home. If you want to help me, then I got a friend to introduce you to. Follow me. See that Strabby? That there's Sprout. I've been training him to follow my pointer in his buggy ball. We were in the middle of training. See if you can guide Sprout back here to us. <laughs> He likes you! Sprout's always been a good judge of character. Sprout loves adventure. Always got along well with Lisbert, too. Anyway, I'm missing my three peel bugs. They like to hide out inside little holes around the beach. Please find them. Those little cuties must be so scared without me. So, you can put that on here. Just one more now.
Okay, then be a boring people. Yeah, I can't. <laughs> The ding 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 the ding ding the ding ding. even want to unroll. They don't like being in your trap much. I still got two Queebles missing, but I want you to bring them to me without catching them in your trap. Lucky you got Sprout to help out. Smother him in chocolate and those Queebles will follow him till the end of time.
Oh, my God. 
Ashley, you're back! Don't you ever leave me again! No, that was hard. You did it! Oh, my kid are all together again! I'm so happy I could cry. Okay. Here goes. <laughs> You're not crying. I'm ready to head back to the ranch. Thanks for all your help. I want you to take Sprout with you. He's always wanted a life of adventure. I'm just holding him back. Sprout, <laughs> Papa's got a job to do. All your friends are going to a new home. You're going with this nice grumpus right here. I'll miss you something fierce, but it's okay. You can come see Papa anytime. <laughs> you take care of Sprout. Or else. Well, well, well. Look what the snack dragged in. Oh, I wouldn't have come back if I knew you were here. That's so. Well, I ain't about to leave now. Oh, yeah? Me? Neither. Then I reckon we're neighbors again. Howdy, neighbor. I got my eye on you, Wambus Trouble Ham. You best keep your eyes on your snacks. Seems like they're getting away from you. Oh, Charlie, where'd you run off to? I've uh, never done an interview before. Um, how's it work? <laughs> <laughs> Who are you? Who are you? A uh, Gramble Giggle Funny. I look after all the bug snacks in town and make sure they don't wander off. Why can not snack you hide it? I heard Lizbert was gathering up some grumps to be part of her new family. And I thought I could really use one of those. You don't have a family? I did, but then they... Uh, can we talk about something else? Want some bug snacks? Well, they're just the cutest little things, aren't they? I don't understand how anybody could look into their googly little eyes and want to eat them. But everybody does eat bug snacks. Uh, um, well, they don't eat none of mine, and that's what counts. Why did you leave town? Without Liz to bring in snacks, everybody got mighty hungry. They'd untreated my barn like a grocery store. I held them off for a while, but I should have known Wambus never quits. 
or did Rambus do? <sighs> the next night I woke up to him throwing my snacks into a sack. I panicked and I let the rest go free. Broke my heart, but it's better than them getting eaten. I left that night for the beach and started rebuilding my family. Are your bug snacks safe from Wiggle? Maybe. Wiggle's a lot, but she's got a good heart. If she really likes me, she'll learn to love bug snacks the way I do. Any info on Lisbeth? Lisbeth? She'd bring me lots of new friends to take care of. Sometimes we'd work together training my little ones. Sometimes she'd ask for one and I'd have to say goodbye. What would she do with the bug snacks? I like to think they're all like Sprout, helping out like little sidekicks. But sometimes she didn't get enough on the hunt. She always liked to bring something back for Agabel. Can we talk about something else? What happened to Lisbeth? Sometimes I wake up at night and I'm out of bed, lost in the woods. I think I see Lisbeth out there watching me like a vengeful spirit. Can we talk about something else? Wait on, you can relax. Oh, I don't think I like interviews very much. Here, Lisbert dropped this in my barn back when. I never got around to giving it back. I don't know what it's for, but you can have it if you promise never to interview me again. So long. How's it going? Well, the last thing that we need to do today is hey. to Becca. Way more snacks around here. Scan all the snacks here, fill up your journal, then we can swap deets. <laughs> but don't be surprised if they're not all out at the same time. Bug snacks gotta sleep too. Once this pest hides, it won't come out of hiding until it's forced out. Loves hot, hot sauce and fears bunger. These darn varmints ruin my var my farm. Uh, I don't see any more. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm like, I don't 
quite strabby. Loves chocolate. Grumpus. Not that I'm surprised. After all, I've read all your articles. Even if I don't believe in the Grumpa Cabra or whatever, your interviews were always on point. Good picks, too. You've got a way of digging up the truth out of the lies. But enough about you. Let's talk Bethica. I want you to use that journalistic instinct to find out what my favorite bug snack is. And feed it to me, Oz. Crap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Good answer. You really get me. I know you're just doing this stuff for me because you want me back in Snacksburg, but I don't mind. If you really want to be besties with me, I want some dirt. Wambus acts totally mysterious before he goes to bed around 10 every night. I want you to find out what he's up to and tell me. If you don't want to wait around, you can always just take a nap until it's time. I'm <laughs> 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 
Farming didn't go so well today. Soil's depleted. But I won't give up yet. I wonder how your day is going. Oh, Triffy. I miss you so much. I would hug your cactus facsimile, but it would only hurt me further. <laughs> OMG, Wambus has a fake cactus wife? Like he wasn't prickly enough already. 10 out of 10 perf dirt. Uh, Snacksburg sounds way more fun than sitting around in this cave. I thought it'd be relaxing, but it's totes boring. Plus, I don't know nearly enough about you yet. I'm just itching to dig up more dirt. See you around town. Bestie. Yes. That was so odd. Just, just load. Bethika was Bethika. Oh, Beth. How's it going? I thought you'd never ask. OMG, I have so many hot takes. Start interview. Who are you? I'm Bethika Winklesnew, and I basically do whatever I want. Sure, but what do you do professionally? Let's just say, I'm an information specialist. Why come to Snapchat Island? I'm here on vacay. Uh, unrelated fun fact, did you know that no international laws apply out here? Is that fun fact unrelated? I'm just saying, if you got in trouble, like a lot of trouble and all your friends turned against you, this would be a great place to hide out forever. Thoughts on bug snacks? Oh, they're so cute, I could literally eat them up. And I do! Why did you leave town? Ugh, there's drama and then there's drama! We have too many Geminis around here and I'm done getting caught up in social dumpster fires. And that's why you were living in a cave? Uh, hey, my cave was sweet! Plus, it was close enough to Wambus that I could swipe some sauce when I needed to. 
But what specifically made you want to leave? Crondo. That greedy little squeeb started looting the second Liz was gone. Then he tried to sell me her projector. So I like posted pics of all his little crimes, and then I got out of there before he could get back at me. Any info on Lizbert? What don't I know about Lizbert? Wink. Please answer the question. Uh, Liz is smart and fearless, and she can see the talent in all of us. It's impossible not to look up to her. She's practically invincible. But she does have one weakness. Okay, alright. What is her weakness? Agabelle. Liz would go to the end of the world and back to make her happy. And if I've learned anything in life, it's that you can't let your happiness depend on somebody else. What happened to Lizbeth? Liz and Agabelle got in a big argument before Liz went hunting. I haven't seen either of them since. If I'm being optimistic, maybe they're on a romantic getaway sorting it out together? That's everything. Thanks, Beth. No prob. I'm just happy to see your interview skills in action. Oh, and before you go, I think you should take this. It's the key to Liz's cabinet. The stuff in there is really personal, but finding her is more important than keeping all her secrets. How do you how did you come by that key? <laughs> Sorry, interview's over. Don't let me down. Bestie. Hey! You're really doing it! You're bringing everybody back! You even got Bethka here. She's awful. <laughs> you know what we should do? We should throw a welcome back party. Yeah, let's do it. Well, howdy, stranger. Seems you're getting along just fine. Farm's doing okay on my end. Shindigs like this don't sit right with me. Feels like I should be getting work done. Welcome to the party, Wambone. We are not friends. Oh, hey, you remember Charlie? How's my little sprout doing? He miss his papa? Oh, of course he does. Maybe you should let me watch him for a few days. Oh, maybe even a week or a year or two. Granville, welcome back. How's the barn? Well, it's good and locked. Uh, great. <laughs> it, it's good to be secure. What happened to the snacks you were babysitting for me? Great catching up with you, buddy. Hey there, bestie. Good to see you. Finally, somebody worth talking to. Living here is better than that cave, but it's still pretty dull. Like, where's the drama at? Thanks for coming to the party, Beth. I, like, live here now? You started a party around me. Well, I'll take what I can get. <laughs> How's the bug juice? Isn't this just water? Well, uh, it, it's bug infused. So, it's about as strong as you? <laughs> I give this party a two out of ten. Uh, come on, everybody! It's a party! Woo! Drink, mingle, be wild. Uh, Bebefica, doesn't this music make you just wanna dance? With you? As if. My new bestie's the only reason I'm here. Whamish, Gramble, you two probably have loads to talk about. I got nothing to say to a guy like Whambus. That's so. Oh yeah? Well, go on and say it. It's your fault we're in this mess. If you'd have let us eat your precious livestock, we could have kept together. They weren't livestock. They were my little ones, my kin. You lied and stole them away because you can't grow food for yourself. 
You think these walking vegetables are your family? I got news for you, Grandpa. Bug Snacks will never love you. You don't know a thing about love! That's why your wife left you! I'm gonna do violence to you. <laughs> hey, let's let's all take a breath here and Don't act like you're in charge! If you had the spine to lead us, everybody would still be here! Don't you mean Trippany would still be here? Fine! All y'all gang up on me! It don't make me wrong! You all want Trippany back so bad? Go find her yourself! Well, that wasn't ideal. But maybe after a few dozen more parties, we'll all be friends again. Uh, either way, thanks for being here, buddy. Oh, hey, I just realized you haven't had any bug snacks yet. Oh, you must be starving. Well, here, have a strabby on me. Maybe we can end this night on a high note. Oh, come on, at least try it. You gotta be curious, right? Huh? How can you write about bug snacks without first-hand experience? That's the spirit! Uh, are, are you okay? Oh gosh, I'm so sorry, buddy. I uh, guess you're allergic to bug snacks? Didn't see that coming. <laughs> All right, as long as you're fine, I'll, um, I'll get out of your hair. Oh, I'm back in town! After an hour, I can't pack a fish in the bag. Just in time for a gorgeous doctor to treat my grief. Well, this gorgeous doctor thinks you're an idiot. But, see, and I'm going to Don't talk about it. How much would you risk with the rest of me?
on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're rich and to try it out, I can tell. Eh, uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't, you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock them into shape?
I didn't realize we had gone over the one hour mark. Oh, Spider. <laughs> to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want to fry you, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs.
back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bobsicles, uh, then walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bobsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere. That was freaky. Help me, help me, help me. I'm glad you're here. Uh, I've been talking to the other grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not just with chores and stuff, but, you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Ah, uh, nothing like getting toasty. Ah, nothing like getting to another fine day. Oh, that's strange. I could use your help or something. See, nobody's figured out how bug snacks reproduce, but I got an idea. I think I might be able to garden them, grow them in the dirt, like plants. Well, half of them look like fruit, but I reckon there's more to it than that. I've seen bug snacks crawl out of the dirt that weren't there before, fresh and gooey like. Seems promising to me. All I need to start off is a root and a fruit. Should be simple enough.
Thank you kindly. I'll get those buckets. Well, another day, another dirt pile. Just digging away fruitlessly.
two more. Let's see what they 